Hi, a very good morning to all of you. My name is M. Tommy of Peace Egg Ministry. What a wonderful day to be on your screen now to talk to you. Thank you all for your comments. Thank you for your support towards Peace Egg Ministry, towards Peace TV, and I myself. God continue to bless you in Jesus Christ's name. All right, a whole lot of people have been confused over time about this word, the Lord's portion. So, you know, sometimes we we are told in church or we are told in church that the tithe is the Lord's portion. It is true, but it's not really true. For example, if you have a um, hundred thousand as salary, your tithe is ten thousand and the church will tell you that you shouldn't touch that ten thousand because that's the lost portion. But it's not true. That's not the lost portion. We should Read the Bible very well and understand what the Lord's portion is. As I said in my previous video, it's not as if I don't like money or I don't need money. I do. Even as a pastor, we need money to run the church project. We need money to run the church, the day-to-day -day run of the church. But at the same time, at the same time, we must tell people the truth about giving, about offering in church. They shouldn't give out of compulsion. They shouldn't give out of tricks. They should give willingly. It should be free will. In short, if you let them know the truth about giving, they will even give more than you restricting them, putting them in fear into their life that if they don't give, they will die. If they don't give, they are cursed. If they don't give, they will not make heaven. Let them know what they should give. Tell them the truth. You know the truth about this thing. So there's a rule. There are rules uh, when it comes to paying of tithes in church, and when you talk about the lost portion. You should understand who should pay the lost portion. Is it the pastor? Is it the congregation? But the pastors have thrown him down upon the congregation to be paying the lost portion. It's not going to be paid by the lot by the congregation. The lost portion has nothing to do with the congregation. It has nothing to do with the, the church members. It is for the, the priests, the people that receive the tithes. As a matter of fact, if you say that the church should give the Lord's portion, keep the Lord's portion. It means the church should be paying the congregation. Because it's at that point that they cannot take out what we call the Lord's portion according to the Bible. I read for you in the Bible. And mind you, tithing was not meant for everybody in the world. It was meant for a particular set of people in Israel. The Levites. Who are the Levites? The Levites were the children of Levi. A particular set of people. And the Levites receive this money when they receive this money they're supposed to pay what we call tithe of tithe to the priest as at that time let's say for example now if you are still practicing it now and we want to practice it the right way in your church you have choristers you have ushers in those days the levites were the ushers we also the choristers we also the musician the housekeepers Everybody that were in the sanctuary doing one thing or the other were from one tribe, the children of Levi. And they were not working because they had no inheritance among the children of Israel. Alright? So if we are saying we should be paying time, we shouldn't be paying time to the pastor. We shouldn't be paying time to the church. We should be paying the time to the Levites. Yes. So that means you, you, you give money to the choristers, money to the sanctuary keepers. Money to the church uh, uh, gatekeepers. Money to the instrumentalists. That's what you should do. They will now pay a tithe of tithe to the pastor for the pastor to keep. Okay, let's read from the Bible. The book of Numbers chapter 18 verse 28 says, In this way, you also will present an offering to the Lord from all the tithe you receive from the Israelites. From this tithe, you must give the Lord's portion to Heron the priest. Let me read that again. In this way, you also will present an offering to the Lord from all the tithes you receive from the Israelites. From this tithe, you must give the Lord's portion to Aaron the priest. That means the Lord's portion has nothing to do with the congregation. It has to do with the people that receive the tithe. So when you receive the tithe, you take out the Lord's portion. So if your tithe to the church or to the Levite is 10,000, the tithe of that tithe is 1,000. 
That's 10% of that 10,000 is 1,000. And that 1,000 is the lost portion. It's not what you are paying. It's not the tithe you are bringing. The tithe of that tithe is what you call the lost portion. So is anybody tell you, no, okay, don't touch that money, the lost portion. Sometimes you can even take your tithe, keep it into the house, call people to come and eat. You use my money, take that tithe, use that tithe money, buy food, and call the less, the stranger, the widow, the liver to come to your house and eat. You see the right thing to do. Then you now pray the prayer for tithing. The prayer for tithing is not in Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. It is in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 26. Okay? So please take note that the last portion, the tithe is not the last portion. That's what you call tithe. And if you are giving tithe today, don't give tithe as a requisite for blessing. Give it because God has blessed you and you are going to give an appreciation. If you give it to God because you want God to bless you, you are getting it wrong. It, it, it's like you are bribing God. Alright? But the main point today is that that's your money in your hand. That's your tithe. It's not the lost portion. The lost portion is supposed to come out from the church you pay to. It's a church that will make the lost portion, take out the lost portion from there. It is not you. I know you are blessed already hearing this question. God bless you. It's your Christ's name.